दिस एज हर एक्सीडेंटल लेसरेटेड बून ऑन द राइट साइड ऑफ फोर हेड सो आई एम प्लानिंग टू रिपेयर इट मेटिकलसली अंडर रीजनल एनस्थीशिया दैट इज सुपरा ऑर्बिटल नर्व ब्लॉक नाउ द टेक्निक फॉर द सुपरा ऑर्बिटल ब्लॉक इज जस्ट पुट द टिप ऑफ इंडेक्स फिंगर एंड पेलपिट द सुपरा ऑर्बिटल मार्जिन हेयर नाउ वेन वी रोल अवर टिप ऑफ लेफ्ट इंडेक्स फिंगर वी कैन पेलपिट ए स्मॉल नॉच नाउ द सुपर ऑर्बिटल फोर मेना आई दर इज सुपर ऑर्बिटल नॉच और फोर मेना नाउ हेयर आई कैन पेलपिट द नॉच हेयर सो नाउ एट द साइड यू इंसर्ट योर नीडल बिकॉज दिस इज ऑलरेडी now i am moving the tip of the needle just to avoid the accidental intravascular injection because this nerve is associated with the supraorbital vessels just align everything now match the tissue carefully now this is somewhere here this is Six zero polypropylene. now i have divided this one margin into three after proper alignment of the skin margin so this is a triangular flap here so just repair it like this take the bite from this flap but the triangle is very small so i am using very fine sutures now i will put few stitches in the eyebrow area with with a0 polyamide because here we don't want to remove the sutures they will automatically drop out so this is very fine sutures this part i have repaired with 60 proline and the the lateral part i have used a0 polyamide because we don't want to create any scar in the hairs of the eyebrow that is the supraorbital block that i have already demonstrated you now this wound is repaired by 6o poly polypropylene and in this triangular flap i have used few 80 polyamide so we have used 80 sutures and 60 sutures here and in this part uh, i am not going to remove these fine sutures at least for 2 3 weeks uh, this will avoid the widening of the of the eyebrow scars right there is two laceration on the lateral aspect one this and one underneath these are approximate with the approximate with the 80 polyamide or nylon here so we would like to remove the remaining stitches of 60 polypropylene on 6th or maximum 7th day i fix a single dressing here tip and that is final